So this week, we're going to talk just about nervous system anatomy, although we'll do a little bit of the function of some of these components. Um, this is going to set us up to know a lot about the brain and spinal cord um, and peripheral nervous system. So we can talk about the somatic nervous system and autonomic nervous system, which are our last two units this semester. So really important stuff to be able to understand those units. Start with a learning check here. Okay, so we've done this before. Let's review and expand on it now. So the central nervous system is composed of the brain and the spinal cord. Both of these are going to contain cell bodies and then the axons that connect different regions. So this is gonna allow us to have um, integration, right, of information and processing. So a control center. Um, we also then have a peripheral nervous system. The two components of this are ganglia. These are collections of cell bodies of course, in the peripheral nervous system. So there's the little bulges you can see coming off of um, the spinal cord. And then the other component is nerves. Nerves are collections of axons that are either gonna travel to or from the central nervous system. So both of these components of the nervous system are physically connected. Right, they're not actually separate things, um, but we will talk about them separately. We're going to start with the brain, then spinal cord, then go into the peripheral nervous system. Um, let me emphasize, though, kind of that connection. So in the brain, we're going to have um, cell bodies is one of the things that's located there. Those cell bodies are going to have axons that project out into the periphery. So this would be a axon of a cranial nerve. Cranial nerves are made up of multiple axons, right? Because nerves are collections of axons. So the cell body is in the central nervous system, but the axon projects out into, to be part of the peripheral nervous system, the nerve itself. Um, similarly, we could have a cell body in the spinal cord and it has an axon that projects out to the periphery, maybe to, it's kind of close to the deltoid there. So this would be a axon of a spinal nerve. And this axon, and in this case, we're, this is a motor neuron, right? Because the cell body is in the central nervous system and it's gonna control this deltoid. You also can have spinal nerves. Components of spinal nerves can be sensory, right? And those are going to look a little different. We might have sensory nerve endings here. So sensory receptors that detect touch or temperature or whatever, um, and then take information to the brain or spinal cord. I'm going to go down here. One thing I'm missing is my cell body. Cell body is actually going to come off like that. This is a unipolar neuron. So this could also be an axon of a spinal nerve um, that has is carrying sensory information. Okay, so clearly CNS and PNS are physically connected. Um, the sensory information might travel to the brain, maybe not, um, but it's going to be processed and possibly cause some sort of action. Um, Remember, we also have talked about collections of cell bodies in the brain are called nuclei, brain nuclei. The axons are called tracts. 